forget the microphone. I'm grabbing it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. We're back again. You have missed us. I know. We're pretty sure about it. Yes. I want to make sure here we are. We're ready. Okay. I'm going to share it real quickly. Okay. She's going to share it one more time. Not shave. I'm going to, sh I'm going to share it. You're going to share it this time. Last this time she was going to shave it. Yeah. She was going to shave, but she shared instead. Yes. All right. I'm Midge. Hi, friends. I'm Madge. And this is yet another Midge, Midge and Madge, Madge Mingle. Mingle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's, she's say gotten it. the woot woots in there yes. today because it's getting later it's in the getting day. It's getting later in the day. Yeah. And so many shows today. And so many more to go. <laughs> but it's good. It's, it's good. So good. Because we are working with some of our favorite uh, different products, inks from Clear Snap. Um, right now, what you're going to see is another project from the Color Box, the Color IQ, which Madge just barely did a really fun, some bottles and the metal bow with. And now we are going to play a little bit with a wood plaque and a gift bag. So, yay! I could just jump right into it. And I'm not going to do um, an entire project because. You guys get the gist of it. I'm just going to show you maybe mixing a couple paints and showing how easy it works on the wood. Mm -hmm. Because it is um, designed more by a jewelry designer. Right. She she worked with Clear Snap. And it's, it's really good on glass and metals and ceramics, different things that you would use in jewelry making, mm -hmm. but also wood and other items as we're going to. Yes. So, so. Yes. Okay. I am very excited because I love how it turned out, and so I cannot wait to see exactly how she how she did this and mixed her colors wow. and all that yummy goodness. So I hope I know because I I will tell you this: I started with my brown, and every other color was mixed in the same cup as I made my brown. So the brown and then the white and then I believe the red and then the blues. Okay. So, and the last color was the light blue that I just added some white in from the dark mixture that I, so, but this stuff is very, very blendable. I will say that. And if there is a color that doesn't come in a bottle that you love, mm -hmm. you can make that color. Yes. So it just takes a little time. And you need to remember this is like, the coloring in this is like very, very dense. I just call it dense coloring because it's solid. It's all the way through. It's bright super thick color. Mm -hmm. So one drop goes a long way. Sometimes one drop in a mix is too much. So just keep that in mind. And I like to use just some little dollar store shot cups to mix because I can see what I'm doing and there's like 24 in a package for a dollar. For a buck. Okay. Yes. So Top I guess right we, there, we will start and I am going to first, maybe we'll go with a brown. Okay. And now like I said, it's a lot of trial trial and error. So I just start mixing and then I test it on the paper and decide where I want to go from there. From there. Okay. So I do know I use dark green. Okay. If I can get it open. There. Oh, and shake. Give it a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your... Oh, you're not going to go anymore with shake that. I'm booty. with you now. Okay. That's right. And I just, you know, whatever. So Mitch is just playing right now. She's, I am. She's going to decide okay. what the color is. I just gotta, I have a lot of paper towel handy when I play. Okay, there's that. I know I had a little orange. A little orange. Mm -hmm. Now you guys, it's important that you have um, something to protect your surface. Um, I, I call it a splat mat. Some people call it, I don't know, they, they call it like a, what's this material called? Uh, silicone? Like a silicone mat, something like that. Just something to protect your surface. And then if you're really messy like I am, I need to start wearing an apron is kind of how I feel about it because I had black all over my hands just a minute ago and I don't really know where it came from. But, you know, I would suggest maybe having an apron or baby wipes or something to that effect on hand. All right. Sharon said that she is loving this crafty day. Yay. Thank We've you. kind of liked it a little bit too. We have. We've had fun. So thank you for joining us with a fun-filled day of crafting. Okay, so now I can kind of see, I don't know, you can't really see because you, I'm like, I'll try to get it some more. I can totally zoom in if you'd like me to. No, 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 no. You can kind of tell by the bottom of the cup. It's still a green, but we're, we're, we're getting there. So I, like I said, I just experiment with the colors and then I know what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna keep going. But 
Madge, I think that my other project is so simple that you could just look at it and recreate it. Oh, she just looked at me with the eyes that say, hmm, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I could probably look at it and try to recreate it, but no. But she says no. But I say no. I want, I want to see her do the start to finish project because I love it so much. Oh, let's see. Um, Sharon said, messy crafting is a sign of genius. I love that. Yes. It is. And Christine said, hey, ladies, is this a Mitch and Madge marathon? Yes. Yes, it sure, sure is. is. We know. It's what the world's been waiting for. Yes. Yes. So many yeses. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me just see on my... I don't know I if you I can see go. this quite yet, but it is a really pretty I might pretty like color. that. Let's see. So it's kind of a deep, deep, deep brown. Yes. With like a squish of green. I don't know. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty color. I'm just going to do one little squirt of white and call it good. Midge and Madge make a thong, said Sharon. Yes. And actually, I'm also going to do... <laughs> this is kind of fun. It's kind I, of like when you were did science experiments when you were little. I, that's, what, that's exactly... I'm sitting here thinking, huh... I have a good time when I do the this. The only thing I think we need now are like those those glass bottles. Oh, know? I thought you meant these. Oh, <laughs> the glasses. But you were thinking we need like beakers and stuff like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think I have it. I think I have it. I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to do just part of... Okay, so you can see I have this fun heartwood palette that we got. It's a walnut hollow, and it, it only has three sections, but I wanted to have a few more sections in mine, so I just decided to just paint my own other sections in there, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I didn't tape it off. <gasps> I called her. What? I know. I'm looking. I, I called her, and I was really distraught because my lines had been not straight and there was really no way I could fix it I and she do. laughed a little bit at me. I do have this for you if you need it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> She's going with no. I said no. She said no. And I'm looking at it on there and I'm just going to do one more little skosh of white in there. Oh, just a little teeny bit. One squirt. And it won't make a huge difference but just a little bit in my mind. That's all that matters, right? Is mm -hmm. what I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I just, and you guys, this is just a rough, raw wood that we didn't sand. It comes like this. And I love the worn look on this. So I, I really like this. And it's really pretty. Uh, another thing that I did, and you can see how easily the color just goes right onto the wood. Do you guys need me to zoom in? I, I would be happy to grab the camera and zoom in so you can see what exactly what she's doing if, if it's a little too far away. So um, let me know on that. And then Lisa, um, she said, is the Make make Pretty Stuff mat a splat mat? I'm trying to get my supplies together for the TC Vegas event. Yes. Yes, yes it is. It is. And it's actually one of my favorites that's out there because it cleans off every time, no matter what you if, get if on we it. clean it. It yeah. doesn't so yeah. clean clearly, but right. we usually try to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the worst. I'm the worst at finishing a project and cleaning up after myself. I wait until it's too late and then I'm scrubbing and scrubbing and scratching with my fingernails and scrubbing some more. Okay, so you guys can get the gist of it, and I'll do a lighter color too in a minute just to show. But another thing that I did on this, because it is a wood project, when I had a little bit of brown on my brush, I went around and I just did the edges all the way around, just because I didn't paint my color on the edges, and I thought it gave it a more, I don't know, not real wood, because this is real wood. What am I looking for here? I don't know. But a more woodsy type look. And I just kind of dry brushed it a little bit. It wasn't solid. You guys, she actually has not been... But you can see like that. She hasn't been like dipping in her cup the whole time and getting oh, more no. and more you, and yeah. more on. Yeah. So you guys have been able to tell it really it really does spread quite a ways. Mm -hmm. And I'm still just going. Yeah, it goes a long way. I love that. And so there are the edges. And you can see I'll lift up this one that's done. 
So I went all the way around on all of the edges and then I also did in between all the cracks with the brown. Now with that, did you get like a real, like a fine tip brush to go in the cracks mm. or did you use like a Q-tip or, or how did you go about doing that without messing up the lines? Cause I know what I, what I would end up doing. I'd end up, you know, not doing the right. Uh, okay. I just went from the back, but I'm not, this isn't the, I went from the back upside down and I'm going to need a little bit more on here just to show and just went down through the cracks. Okay. Perfect. Okay. But, and then you can see it kind of, it doesn't really go on to the other. If you go from the back, because you don't really care what the back looks like. No. I don't, usually. I Because it's not going to show. She, she looked at me and I was like, you know I don't. I mean, if you're going to set this on your kitchen table like this, maybe paint the back a solid color when you're all done. Right. But I'm going to hang this by my front porch door. Super cute. So, there you have that um let's see uh Lori said I love the heart where did you get it the she said we're very bad for her pocketbook this oh, is a sorry. walnut hollow yes um just a wood just heart I, I think it's called plaque. wood heart plaque but I'm not 100 rustic heart this is a rustic heart it's called rustic heart by and me. it does have that more rough texture on the front but I don't and I don't know if you guys can see in the painting the roughness or not but Here. I I'm no, gonna get it's close. okay you don't have to because this this one's done so it's fine are you sure I promise I get up close and personal no nope, I totally okay. promise but Sweet but yes again. so this I mean and you can see it goes on the wood really easily and bingo bango bam now did it take a really long time for it to dry on the wood or did you feel like it was no it's super fast on the wood I did still just for my own purposes I did still take the heat gun and go over it once just to make sure mm -hmm. just because I do want to make sure it's set um but it it dries really fast okay perfect and yes it's just perfect and I I was gonna try to do let's see blue I could do blue but then I just got some cute little just these are so cheap the little wood letters mm -hmm. and I did I had some it was at the very end, but I had a little bit of brown left in a cup, which I can probably actually, I'll just get a little bit on my brush right here, go like this, get some white, you know, because why not? Just do it. Just why not? Um, let's see. Lori, did we buy it local? Um, we we didn't buy it local. Um, Walnut Hollow was very generous, and um, when we received our supplies from Claire Snap, we actually got these hearts as well. So I'm not 100% sure exactly. I do know that Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby do carry the Walnut Hollow products. And so I would look there. And guys, even like Walmart and Target have been getting in more craft lines. And I, I haven't looked, but I want to say that they are getting stuff like this mm -hmm. in there as well. So yeah, and I definitely, you know, another place to always, always check before you happen to run around. You know, I love Amazon. I'm a big Amazon buyer just because we, we're aren't, we aren't just like five minutes away from a local craft store. We're, we have to drive just a little bit. So sometimes, you know, Amazon is my friend. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, Amazon is her friend. Let's see. Lori, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, um, is what cleanable with water? Are the brushes cleanable with water? What... I just want to make sure that I'm going to answer, we're going to answer your question correctly. Kathy says Walnut Hollow is fab. Yes. Yes, it is. Now, okay, I want to just show you guys another little trick when you're mixing paints. Because one, you don't want to miss, I mean, run out and not. But also because there are so many different shades after you've mixed. So I'm going to show you here what I did on these letters. Okay, so this was my original brown, and I, I'll pick them up a little bit better in just a second. Gotta just look, make sure I get it really good and really good and light. Okay, so that's better. Oh, one more tip, I guess. I one more tip. Too. One more tip. One more tip. Also, they make a little throwaway, I want to say like fry sauce containers, like something oh, you yes. get condiments on at the fast food places. If you get some of those and mix your paint in those, then you can put the lid on. 
and if if you want to leave your project and come back to it or if you think that you're going to want that color again in the very near future go right ahead and do that top tip she is chock full of tips today peeps so full of tips okay so you can see just by adding so i mixed up my brown i don't know if you can see that and i'll put them on a piece of paper actually for you so I had my brown and then I added just a little bit of white and got a medium coat and then more white and I got like a really light wash type mm -hmm. which is good because then you can get more dimension on your wood so I'm gonna go like this and just you can see how light this is and normally I'd probably use a little bit smaller brush for this big for the letters but it's all good oh, I love it it's kind of like you have like dark chocolate and then you have like milk chocolate and then you have like milk milk chocolate <laughs> but <laughs> just saying <laughs> so see I just added some white to tone it down and then we have our letters so I love that you know you can make so many different colors mm-hmm and that's a really pretty color that last one that you did I mean I like the dark but that is yes. a really pretty I'm color. actually gonna do it as a big stripe on here in just a few minutes but we don't have to do that right now I can do it later <laughs> you we have so on. much time so and I can also do just uh let's see I don't think that you have this color um, nope I don't and look at this <laughs> yes, chocolate is always a good way to describe colors. Yes, yes it is, Kathy. She says tips are always good for DIY projects. Thanks, ladies. Um, Sharon says Amazon is the world's mall. Heather said, I love this. You ladies are the best. And yes, chocolate is our friend. I mean, it could be because it's a little late in the day and we're saying chocolate, please. But it could be. I, I mean, mean, it is a little bit late in the day. When isn't it a good time for it? I don't know. You're digging, digging, digging. I'm digging. Turquoise Mountain isn't what I wanted. But I'm going to go with it. Okay. So I grabbed the Pacific Ocean. And then I'm going to do the frost, uh, frosted, good grief, Frisco Bay. I'm putting a little bit of that. And then stir it up a little bit then I'm gonna go back to that brown I made at the beginning the brown she made at the beginning the yep. dark dark brown yes okay and just get some on my brush and put it in here she, she should really be like I don't even know how to even, what would the word be, because I know I'm going to say it wrong, and then you're going to laugh, but like, you know, we already talked about a science project, like in the lab, but you should be like a crayon maker. <laughs> she could make some pretty cool colors. Yeah. Okay, so we went with, we had Pacific Ocean, and it's kind of like a, almost like a royal blue. It's really pretty. And we had Fresco Bay, and it's like a light blue-gray. And then I grabbed some brown from the very beginning, and I got this fun, bright color right here. That is, that's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so um, the question that Lori had, she said, is the ink washable with water? off of like hands and clothes or because this would be pretty permanent on your project yeah I would say yeah I would say off of your hands yes off of your clothes I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with no on that also um but on your project it's there to stay it's definitely there to okay, stay okay I love this color I'm just that throwing is pretty, that out there that is a really pretty color and you'll notice on this one I went a little bit darker um, and more solid, but I just did a thin, I'm just doing a thin piece of that brown on here. I'm going to leave it a little bit rough to give it that worn look that you notice that I did on 
the one that is finished. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm liking it. It's a fun, it could transition into fall, I feel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. depending on what else we do with it. But there, yep, and you can see it spreads really well. There, and I'm just going to end it right there. I got some on my finger. So, and then I will get, I'll decide what word I want. I will do some letters. I will finish the stripes, but I will hold up this one here that is done so you can see how easy it was. And again, guys, I mixed a brown and it was the dark greens, so it was the moss, oh, moss landing, sorry, moss, and a little poppy, and a little ruby slipper, and then a little tiny bit to lighten it up, just not much at all, of the snow summit. I'm putting the lid on really quick. And I did one drop of this in there also, the honeybee, but just one little drop. So you might They're not They're saying to that, that you should be a color chemist. I would love that so much in my heart. It yeah. would make me happy every day. And Lori, I'm sorry because I'm a little bit of a spaz. She, she was wondering how do we wash our brush. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been one of those and days. I don't know what you're asking because I can't see. So I'm sorry. I'm like, your hands, you're close. Well, I, your I'm sorry. Project. I was, I was reading, but it's it just, wet. it wasn't clicking with me. So I apologize. Yes. We wash our brushes in water. Yes. 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 I, I apologize yes. on that. And I know they do make brush cleaners and we're going to, we've talked about it. Just some of our old brushes are might need a little extra help, but we usually just water. Mm -hmm. And then, so there you have it, guys. You can mix and match your colors till you get the palette that you like. Um, paint each slat or create other slats, which I did. And then with your dark wood, uh, lighten it up just a skosh if you would like, or, or, or leave it the dark color is just fine. Go around the edges of your project, all of the edges, and in between the slats here. And then pick your letters, pick the color that you want your letters. And I hot glued mine on just because it seems to hold the best. You could wood glue, I guess, mm -hmm. but with a little bit of the raw texture on the wood, I just like the hot glue. And that was that. That was that. That was that. Yep. Are there any questions on this really cute um, home plaque? Any questions? Anyone, anyone. Because if not, I'm going to do one more fast thing. Another project, not this project. Any questions? I wish Any you would have questions? counted how many of everything you did in that so you could recreate that color exactly. I love that. It's beautiful. Well, it's the brown that I mixed at the beginning, too. Yes. So yeah, I don't what... know that we'll ever have more of this particular color, oh, but we can try it. hard. We can try. It will be fun to try. So let's do it. Okay. Heather said, what is the ink um, and the brand again? It is by Color Snap. Mm -mm. Clear Snap. Clear Snap. It's the Color Box Color IQ. I'm like, mm -mm, you're wrong. You're wrong. Let me hold. Just let me just do this. Beep, 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 beep. Let me just do this. I need just this for one more second. <laughs> Nine one one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now, do you want to tell them one more time what it is, or, or are we done? Did we did we get that under control? I mean, it's fine. No one is mad. Uh, nobody is mad. I, I mean, yes. I do apologize. Let's 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 say it one. You just combined. More time. It's hard because they have so many like. Offset. They do. They but do. But it's hard. It's not color. Snap. What is this? Clear. Snap. S uh huh. And then what? This is color IQ. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Color box. Color <laughs> IQ. There you go. I'm sitting here, you guys. I don't want to make another mistake. My goodness gracious. <sighs> there are lots of colors. In fact, there is also not only are there colors, but they also have a sealant out there that you can seal your projects with also if you decide that you would like to. Mostly the sealant though is for the jewelry making and the smaller like the metal and glass pieces, but it's, you know, up yes. to you. Yes, it is up to you. And I'm saving those because we want to play with it and find that color again, apparently. Correct. So I'm Correct. just going to move that. Um, my wipey. The color IQ is spelled C-O-L-O-R-I-Q-U-E. If you guys want to check that out. And, um, the designer is, she always makes me say it, Lisa Marie Jimenez. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which she did an amazing job because I love every single color. The only color I'm, I'm going to say you could come up with is a beautiful fuchsia pink. Just, just saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I've been waiting for her to have a, have a need I, for pink. I would pink. buy it. I'm just saying. A I'd need for pink. Okay. I'm going to hurry and do one more thing now. Perfect. Um, now, these aren't necessarily... Uh, 
I don't know. Clear Snap has so many great inks, and lots of them are just great for paper. But I, of course, like to do other things. I'm just laughing at myself because <laughs> I'm such a little bit of a spaz. So I'm so glad you guys are all hanging in there with me. So I did a fun gift bag and gift tag. Just And it's very obvious what I did, but I will hurry and do a couple real quick steps just because. I was not about to try it because I need to see it and then I'll make it. Okay, so. Because you're pretty awesome like that. Just give it a shake. Okay. And here we go. So I just, honestly, I touch the little tip and make it run. Mm-hmm. Yep, I sure do. How fun. And you can do them, I mean, obviously the more drips, the farther it's going to run. If you want them to go all the way to the bottom of your bag, you guys, this is, you know, do what you want. <laughs> but I... So I have a this. question. Did mm -hmm. you let each color dry no. before you started to do another color? Now, okay. that is one thing I was going to say. If you look at this one, you can see where... I'll hold it up here really quick. Um, a lot of the colors kind of blended together as they ran down the bag, mm -hmm. which is a cool effect. It is. But if you do not want that, then you are going to need to dry in between each of the colors. I will stick another one on here really quick. Let's do yellow. Kathy, you know what? I just love you. She says, spazzy people are my people. Yes! I love that. They're apparently my people, too. <laughs> I'm totally teasing. It's been a long day. I would like you to know, she did say I was crazy on the last episode. So, no, I said that's the definition of crazy because you were going to keep trying to do something that you know doesn't work. But she is all I was saying. Basically, all. basically, she was saying I was a little cray cray. But it's okay because I am. And she loves me because I am cray cray. So nobody's mad. Well, cray cray, can I have the heat gun? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Yes, Thanks. you can. Thanks so much. Yes. And there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to kind of help it out a little bit. If you can see. I'm just pushing it down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can, I don't know if anyone, you probably can't tell, but I can. The blue is actually almost dry. Like it, won't, it doesn't want to run any farther. It says, no, I'm done. Oh, I love that. You guys, how fun would this be like on your scrap paper that you have? Um, and then you could even do like some die cutting or make some just some cool different things. I love the gift bag and I love the card. This little tag right here is darling also. So many fun things. And that was just a wood tag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that to you. And then, like I said, you can keep going with this as much or as little as you want. If you just want that. Great. If you want a little bit more, then go for the gold and put on as many colors as you want. So cute. Do you, does anybody have any questions? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller. Other than you have to have all of these colors because they are amazing and you need to have them in your craft stash. But then we can stop. I just, there you go. And it's let running. it run. Let it run, baby. Let it run. And you can add, like I said, we put a lot on here and they... I did not dry in between layers, so obviously they blended together a little bit. And this one, we're letting stay Super separate. Cute. Let's see one more time. Ta-da! Oh yeah, that's cute. But there you have it. So that was super fun. It was fun. That was Color IQ, and the show before was Color IQ. And Correct. what are we moving to next? We are moving to, I believe we're going to move to chalk. Chalk ink. Yes. Chalk inking. Yep. We will be we will be back momentarily with some chalk ink. Yep. Okay. Basically, we we'll be back. As fast as we can, we just have to move all of this Clean and up. move everything else back out. But I would say just a few minutes. We'll hurry and we'll yes. Be done. Oh, Kathy said um, it's great that you could customize to the person's favorite colors. Yes. Yes, you could. Yep. And, and you could how we mixed in the little cups, which is actually what I I one of those the very first spill maybe what this is. I mixed some colors together in a cup mm -hmm. and just poured it across as well Cute. so our custom Cute. colors you know if you want a pink we could do a little ruby slipper and a little snow summit make you some pink 
and do some drips. Perfect. So, She's always thinking exactly how to make me some pink. There you have I love it. it. <laughs> the color chemist is in the house. Okay, are we going to do a quick photo? Yes, we are. And then we will. We okay. sure are. Okay, I'm okay. ready. I love that. I do too. <laughs> okay. All right. I love it. Okay. Do you want to blow that? And I'm going to yep. go peace out. Yep. I sure will. Okay. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Oh, but I should probably leave this mic here. When I yes. Do. Yes. Having fun.